Uh, we have a bond referendum that's real critical for North Carolina and especially for Burke County and Morganton. I'm going to ask Dr. Michael Helmick, president of Western Piedmont Community College, if he'll come forward and give us some information about the bond referendum to be held March 15th, 2016. Dr. Helmick. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and board. Uh, my pleasure to be here. I am here to discuss with you the uh, impact of the Connect NC public improvement bond that comes up for a vote on March the 15th, and I'm certainly here as an advocate of that, and you will probably discover why somewhere during the process of this. This is my second time addressing this board. The last time I was here, it was 2010. I came before you all and asked that you allow Western Piedmont Community College uh, the ability to have chickens, pigs, and goats on the campus. <laughs> you approve that. The chicken, pigs, chickens, pigs, and goats are doing fine. Thank you very much. We continue to have those folks on, or those animals on our campus. A um, little bit about Western Piedmont Community College. We are one of 58 comprehensive community colleges in North Carolina. We offer over 70 degrees in areas that range from uh, adult high school to ESLs, English as a Second Language, to transfer programs, to workforce directed programs. We feel like we have something for everybody at Western Piedmont Community College, and many of the folks in this room I know have been impacted in a positive way by the college. There are great jobs with excellent pay in this community, uh, terrific jobs that are out there, and those are excellent pay with benefits right here in Burke County. But those jobs require something beyond high school. And community colleges are in there to fill the void between what comes between high school and the workplace. North Carolina community colleges are different from other states. We are the third largest community college system in the country. Uh, community colleges in this state are controlled by a local board of trustees that are made up by appointments from the county commission, school board, and the governor. And they are a great place for service. And in fact, we have Mayor Thompson serves on our board of trustees. And also, uh, Mr. Ron Martin is in the audience. He is one of our trustees also. It, it, and they, I think, would tell you it's a wonderful place to serve the community. We are funded primarily by the state, but the county also contributes a significant amount to the operation of the college. Uh, Burke County has been extremely generous to the college here recently. One example of that generosity is our new mechatronics building that we hope to break ground on shortly, depending on the weather. Uh, with that building is being built with a Golden Leaf grant that required a match from the county of $450,000. That, in addition to a grant from the Cannon Foundation for $100,000, will ensure that graduates from uh, that program of mechatronics will stay in Burke County and work in our local industry. But starter part of staying strong is providing a, the much needed funds for the success of those graduates. Technical programs at our institution are expensive, and the facilities to house those technical programs are quite expensive. Uh, new state-of-the-art equipment and facilities is required to house that equipment, and quite frankly, it costs more than, than the local budget, the local county budget can bear. On March 15th, you all, you, we will all have the opportunity to help ensure North Carolina's dominance and Burke County's dominance in science, technology, and engineering and mathematics as well as helping propel the state forward in infrastructure, defense of our communities, agricultural growth, and tourism by voting for the Connect NC bond referendum. The $2 million Connect NC public improvement bond bill provides the following amounts for the state of North Carolina. I'm also going to break out the amount for Burke County as I'm doing this. There's a, at the end of this, is a, if you add it all up, there's about a $91 million uh, plus for, for Burke County. About $1 billion of this bond will be for the UNC system, that's the University of North Carolina system, most of which will be used to build buildings that will help in those STEM projects. Remember STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. $58 million is coming to Burke County for the Western School of Math and Science to, to be located either on the Broughton campus or on the North Carolina School for the Deaf campus. An offshoot of the North Carolina School of Science and Math in Durham it is part of the North University of North Carolina system. Approximately 300 high school students will be participating in that program, and those are residential students who will live right here in Morganton. They will live in dormitories on the campus where the school is located. They will participate in city and county activities, and they will be enjoying our great outdoor way of life here in Burke County. Western Piedmont has already pledged to help this effort by providing facilities to, to enhance student activities and education. We have met with the, uh, the chancellor of that, of that school and told him that we will participate in whatever way that we can as a college. We are not sure what the final 
uh, advantage or, or what the final advantage will be to Western Piedmont Community College for having those students here, but we know that we feel like that it will be substantial. In addition to that amount, $180 million is, is for agriculture to support the growth of farming and food production in the state, and some of those funds will be used here in North Carolina or excuse me, will be used right here in Burke County. Remember the chickens, pigs, and goats that I referenced earlier. We have the largest sustainable agriculture program at Western Piedmont of any community college in the state. $78.5 million is in the bond for the National Guard and public safety uh, enhancement. $21 million of that is going to come to this county to retrofit the Western Youth Detention, also called the high rise in this area and uh, to make that a facility to serve as a, as a training facility for the National Guard. Western Piedmont has worked diligently with the military in the past. We are a military-friendly school, and we know that we will be called upon to provide additional educational opportunities at that facility. We are not sure what kind of uh, activities we will be doing out there, but we know that we are going to participate. There's an additional $312,500, $312,500,000 for water and sewer projects. Uh, we will have the opportunity in this county to, to uh, put in a request for those funds, and we hope that, that some of those funds will come to us. And then there's $100 million for parks and zoos, and included in that amount will be a new welcome center for Lake James Park and additional facilities for South Mountain Park. But the main thing that I want to emphasize with what I'm going to tell you tonight is the $350 million for the North Carolina Community College system. We stand to gain about $5.1 million at Western Piedmont. What that will do is help provide funds to help us build or alter our facilities at the college. The, uh, um, we're going to be retrofitting buildings that will allow us to accommodate more high school students on our campus. Are you aware, for example, and I hope you all are, that a student can earn a two-year degree or another credential from the community college system while they're still in high school and there is no charge for tuition? Did you know? that Burke Middle College is the highest ranked middle college in the state and that the ranking includes the highest graduates of any middle college in the state. And that's right here at Western Piedmont Community College. For years we have shifted students around in various buildings and we have not, and, but we have had an opportunity to move some programs around, retrofit a building and accommodate all of our partnership programs with Burke County Schools. This includes the recently added STEAM Academy that is now on our campus that moved there last year. As part of this retrofit, what we plan to do is consolidate more of our health science programs at the Foothill Higher Education Center, making management some of, uh, managing some of our largest programs easier and locating them closer to our major user, which is uh, Carolina's Healthcare Blue Ridge at Morganton. We'll be right across the street from, from that organization. As many of you are aware, we also have had security issues on colleges and school campuses all across the country. Recent events at Umpqua Community College in Oregon and other colleges across the world have, have pointed out that community colleges are what they call soft targets. And as we need to mo do more to protect and secure our students on our campus, part of the Connect NC bond money will be used to develop an improved entry system for our buildings, ensuring that we can control access during normal operating hours and ensure the, the future safety of our students. I provided a few examples of what Western Piedmont plans to do with our Connect NC bonds, but let's talk about what the bond is and why it matters to you. There is a committee that has been formed in this county, and uh, that committee is headed by Spring Williams Bird at the Cooperative Extension uh, Service and Johnny Carswell, who is a county commissioner who is in the audience tonight. Uh, and also Ronnie Thompson is a member of that community, or, or excuse me, a member of that committee. I cannot not imagine that there would be opposition to the proposed bond issue, but there are some concerns that are being expressed, and I want to address those. There is no tax increase scheduled for this bond. The taxes to pay off the bond are already in place and will not be altered. North Carolina has a triple A bond rating so that our rate of interest is very low, hence we qualify for a much better rate on the bonds. If there's a false assertion that the bond will add about $800 million annually to the total debt service for the state, but the reality is that it will be somewhere in the neighborhood of about $150 million annually. And as I said, that has already been taken care of with taxes that are currently in place. There will be no county maintenance fees for the Western School of Science and Math as part, because they are part of the UNC system and UNC takes care of their own buildings. They do not have the ability to tax the local authority, so they will be handing the handling the, the maintenance of those buildings. Many activities are being promoted across the state to educate citizens uh, about this bond issue. 
including a voter awareness day that will be at Western Piedmont Community Campus this Thursday at 11 a.m., where we will urge students to register, educate them about the bond, and provide additional information about the primary election that is coming up. I want to thank you this evening for your time and attention, and I would urge you, that, urge you to vote for that, that bond when it comes up. I also want to close by going back to the beginning of my presentation and talking about the potential to grow Burke County and how that will happen. We are new, new, uniquely positioned in this state to be between, between two metropolitan areas. And if we take advantage of, of this bond, we will certainly be able to grow not only the community college, but as a result, grow this community. So I would urge you, I know that you have a resolution coming up. I would urge you all to approve that resolution and, uh, and, and go forth with this bond issue. So thank you for your time. Thank you, Dr. Helmut. He is correct. We do have a resolution supporting the Connect North Carolina Bond Act of 2015. That reads, whereas the Connect NC Bond will invest $2 billion in targeted long-term projects across the state, and whereas the bond will fund $980 million in projects for the University of North Carolina system, and whereas the bond will fund $350 million in projects for the North Carolina Community College system, and whereas the bond will fund $670 million, of which $309 million will be in water and sewer infrastructure, along with local parks, National Guard, Agriculture and Public Safety, and whereas the Connect NC Bond will fund the following projects in Burke County. $58 million for a new western campus of the North Carolina School of Science and Math on state property in Morganton. $23 million to repurpose the now-closed Western Youth Institute in Burke County into a readiness center for the North Carolina National Guard. $5.1 million for projects at Western Piedmont Community College. Three million for improvements at Lake James State Park, and 2.25 million for improvements at South Ma Mountain State Park, and whereas the bond-funded projects would have an extraordinary positive impact on the future growth and prosperity of Morganton and Burke County, now therefore be it resolved that the City of Morganton vigorously support the Connect NC Bond Act of 2015, and educate and have advocacy efforts for the statewide bond statewide voter referendum in March of 2016, adopted this first day of February 2016. Ronnie Thompson, Mayor Sally Sandy Clerk. Do I have a motion to accept this resolution? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes 4-0. I would ask the citizens, this, is a, this information is available on the website for Connect NC Bond Act. Uh, the vote will actually be a ballot. There'll be five separate ballots, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, affiliated. It'll probably be the last thing on the ballot that you vote on, and you'll vote for or against that referendum. There won't be a yes or no vote. It'll be for or against. So please take time to go vote on March the 16th, 15th, 6th, 15th of 2016. Thank you, Lou.